working on uh, some mineral sites. Um, the ground's been real hard. What I want to do is come in, loosen the dirt up in the mineral sites, and give these deer a chance to dig down in it. Um, a lot of the mineral sites are digging in, but can't make it nowhere because the ground's been so hard. It's rocky, and uh, so I come in and broke it up. Um, I also I want to talk about a new product. Um, this is something that we're making. We're going to start manufacturing and selling it on the Facebook store. Um, but we've been working on it for a while. It's a deer mineral. Uh, it's granular form. It's high in calcium, good in phosphate, magnesium. Um, it's got everything that you need for deer for health wise and also growth ability and also new does having babies that are lactating. Um, it's really a complete mineral. It works really well. Um, it's going to come in a different package. This is a prototype, but uh, I'm going to show you how to put it out, how to use it a little bit today um, as we go forward. So, what you want to do. You're gonna pull out your flavor pack, just drop it on the ground. I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna spread it out. In the ground that I've already loosened up. About like that. Since I ain't got my tools or in the other truck, using my little chopper thing. So I'm just going to come in, I'm going to mix this up in the dirt. That way it all gets evenly coated. Good. And I'm going to come back and just put a little bit on top. We're supposed to get a rain here in a little while. So this stuff will go to breaking down, seeping into the ground a little bit. Take a little bit, sprinkle it around the edges to define where the mineral side is. It's got a good smell to it and a good flavor. <clears throat> then I'm gonna take this mineral pack or this uh, flavor packet. I'm gonna sprinkle this just across the top of it. This is what's going to draw them in. It's going to get them here to find it with their nose. And then I'm going to take a piece of dead wood. I'm going to set it right in the center of it. I'm going to take this GYT90 and put it on it. It's going to be like a double punch. Hmm, that's good stuff. What that piece of wood's gonna do, it's gonna soak it in. It's gonna stay in a lot longer. I got another piece of wood on my, another mineral site that I've been testing on. And uh, they've been eating it down. I'm just gonna coke that in there. That's a double punch with a GYT90. That's a good looking mineral site. It's high and everything. It's good for the deer. It's gonna help them be more healthier. It's gonna grow more bucks. It's gonna help them lactate. Um, we got some does dropping right now over in the pasture. There's steadily been a couple of does in there. Every, and anytime you go by, she's out there going back to the woods. So we know there's some ponds over in the pasture. Also, we checked some cameras the other night, and uh, some have dropped and some are already dropped. So uh, we're going to do some more mineral sites. I think I got uh, four more to do, then one back on Big Buck Ridge. I'll take you back there and show you it. And uh, we're also mowing clover today, so stay tuned. We're on plot one. Um, what we're doing today, we're coming in, we're gonna mow this clover, knock the tops off of it, mow a little bit high. It's gonna kill some grass out, some broad leaves. Also reseed it as we go around and knock the tops off. We really should have done this a week ago, but we were busy. Um, heads are starting to die out just a little bit, so we wanted to come in here and make sure we get it mowed. Um, a lot of it's still pretty good, but some of it was. You can see down here, and you can't, probably can't see in the camera, but there's a little bit of a dead spot out from where this big tree is where it sucked in all the nutrients. But uh, looks good, you see the difference, how high the clover is, some of the broad leaves, some of the grass is in it. So we wanna come in and level this off, get some of them knocked out. He's going around mowing about that high off the ground. 
Um, we had a rain earlier this morning, and we're supposed to get another good rain this afternoon, so we wanted to get this done. That way we don't put our clover in distress, and it has the ability to grow back faster. The deer's been in here quite a bit. Um, you can see a lot of the heads are already eaten off, so they found this, and uh, that's good. Because right now is the most critical time to grow antlers, from now until September. We need them to feed all the protein and mineral that they can get, that way their body can stay healthy and big, and going into winter, and also so the antlers will grow a lot better for the mature bucks. So, we got two more of these to do, doing mineral size today. We're gonna do an update on corn meetings, so. On 51, what I did, come back in, took the mineral of ours, uh, tall tine ridge bone reaper, and we put it in, and then I took my stump, as you can see right here, them deer already been on it, it's been one application. This stump is pretty solid, it's not even dead wood. I wanted to test it out. Um, but come back, put it on top of it, put it right in the mineral site, moving on, rain's coming, I'm gonna be talking fast, sweating. And I gotta leave shortly, so let's talk a little bit about these eagle and cylinder sheet beans. Um, they look good. They're coming up. The deer are already in them. Um, they're starting to thicken up just a little bit. Some little bee sprouts. But uh, some of them, like these, already been nipped on, so the deer's already found them just a little bit. They're looking good. This rain's coming in and uh, should help them out a lot. So we're gonna move on and get done. Give you a little update on this corn on two. Um, it's coming on strong, looks good. Like I said, we got more rain coming, so it's gonna help it out tremendously. Um, you can see where we sprayed a couple weeks ago. All the weeds are about gone, died out. Um, just sprayed regular glass fade on them. Beans are coming up on this side. Um, these are the smallest beans that we got so far, as far as size wise, coming up. But uh, the weeds are starting to die out on this side too. We might spray this one more time. Uh, when, once these beans get a little bit taller. But uh, the way it is, a lot of that water runs off. So they're probably not getting as much moisture as they need, but uh, they're growing, they look good. Um, so, got good leaves on them. And big, you'll be able to tell a big difference here in probably a couple weeks, the difference between the cylinder and the eagle seed beans as we talk a little bit more about them. Uh, this corn, we may come in and spray some or put some urea on it, um, help it out just a little bit, but it looks really good. We're happy with it. Um, and that's what we got on corn right now, too. Beans on three, coming up good. Uh, they're about that tall. They look really good right now. Um, you can also see the corn on the roadside that we planted. It's coming up good. Um, down through here, the beans are pretty thick, which we planted them pretty heavy, and uh, are kind of on top of each other just a little bit, which is gonna help out a lot when these deer start coming through and biting off of them. But uh, they look good on three. I just finished the mineral side here. Um, we're gonna go back to four. Uh, Daryl's back there mowing. I'm gonna show you the corn. Corn looks really good back there. He's mowing that, clo uh, mowing that clover. And then we're gonna jump down to five, mow that clover, and now I'm gonna put a mineral side out there. Corn up on four, looks really good. Oh, got good root system on it. Starting to have good leaves, getting taller. Uh, more rain coming, it's gonna help it out a lot. We left uh, this clover in it, we're not mowing anything. It don't have hardly any grass in it, don't have hardly any broadleaf in it. Um, but we left the, the clover in it to give the corn nitrogen, which is gonna help that corn out a lot. Last year, the same thing back on five. Corn made ears, grew tall and big. It looks really good, so uh, that's why we're going to roll with it. I'm going to spin you around here and show you what this clover looks like. Daryl's mowing. Really made a big difference down here on four. This one had a lot of leaf, a lot of grass and a lot of broad leaves and weeds in it and everything else. But uh, it's leveled off now. It looks really good. Give this clover a chance to grow back, flush and full, and kill out some more weeds. Um, I don't even think we're going to spray this year. Um, I talked to a guy at the outdoor show, told him what to do with his clover, but uh, we're not going to spray 
anything. We're just gonna keep going like we're doing. Looks good. Um, a couple weeks, we'll come back in. We'll show you to you again. Up on five. Uh, update on the soybeans. They look real good. Growing. Um, same thing as everywhere else. Deer find them a little bit. They're growing good. Um, we're mowing this clover right now. We're going down through here and uh, mowing it. We left this one just a little bit high because it's a lot thicker. Uh, it's in better shape. Less weeds, less grass, uh, less broad, broad leaves, um, and the deer are using it. So we wanted to leave it just a little bit higher, and that way it just comes back a lot fuller and aggressive. Um, also, a while, while ago, I walked through here making sure there wasn't no fawns in this. Um, we found, found at least 10 beds, maybe more. I didn't even count them all. But uh, I got a little bit of a video, a little bit of a vlog of it. but. Uh, there was beds everywhere where they've been bedded down in here, eating and not moving very far off this property. Because they, and this time right now, they don't like to go far from where they're eating from if they're having babies. Um, and they like to keep them out open. That way they can have a little bit of cover to run off in, watch, see what's going on, what's going on around them, and uh, to protect them. Same way within the pasture. Uh, there's a bunch of does down there scouting the ponds too, off in the pasture. But uh, we got this one here in a minute. I'm gonna take it back to Big Buck Ridge. We're gonna look at a camera that I put out last week and then we're going to uh, update the mineral site for the GYT90 back here and uh, give you a little bit of a showing of what's going on back here. Daryl's done a little bit of work and uh, on the new property so uh, stay tuned. Look at these deer tracks. Deer and coon. Deer and coon. This is part of the new property right here, the new 80. This road right here kind of cuts the old and the new in half. New, old. Um, this is kind of a fork in the road type deal. Um, there's a valley that runs up through here. On this ridge over here is number four. On this, on top of this hill over here is number five. In a minute, we're gonna go back here that's Big Buck Ridge. You can't hardly see it because it's so thick, but we're gonna go on the other side of it, down in there, and I'm gonna show you it. Now we've been doing some cleanup back here on Big Buck Ridge. Mowing it out. Oh, here's Big Buck Ridge. Put a food plot down in here later on. All these briars, everything's growed up. See why the deer like it. We're gonna knock out some of that. <laughs> 